three things happened and three things he did so heartlessly three things had he did during the coronation number one he shunned his own country his own motherland the country that gave him so many things everything pretty much name fame money you name it uk gave harry everything he ditched that country and the brand it represents if you are new to this channel not subscribed because most of my viewers are not subscribed if you are one of them consider to subscribe number two thing he did was he ditched his military his people people who work for the military the reason for that is because he doesn't feel they are any more relevant or that they can monetize him or that they can bring him money yes he goes for the veterans day whatever he's going for the invictus game these things are all show off and i'll prove to you in a second so he ditched his country number two he ditched the military of his country and he did not show any respect to them and number three which is always obvious he shunned ditched and disrespected his own father the king now king charles let's talk about how he ditched his own father so on the day of coronation his father king charles he actually wanted harry to join for the lunch he said i'm not coming his father wanted to make sure that harry was welcome so what he did he called all of the people especially catherine princess of wales and prince william and told them that harry must feel comfortable when he'll be coming for the coronation and this is exactly what happened according to many reports people reached out to him from buckingham palace from family members and asked him harry you are very much welcome nice to see you again if you need anything let us know this was coming from again who the king the father what happened is that he did not accept any of those invitations he did not like even like those things and he did what he did he did not approach back to the king to the father and tell him that yes i'm willing to be a bit more part of your coronation but that did not happen what he did he kept quiet he kept his distance and the family members also kept their distance looking at his behavior the way he was acting and then we have seen him how running away from the coronation <laughs> literally after it was over now let's talk about how he ditched his own country and its brand prince harry shuns british brands to wear dior or dior to coronation dior i think this is how it is spelled why he did that we do not know but of course it was coming from megan markle and megan always wants money we have talked about these guys before that they wanted to steal the show by announcing something shocking for example we talked about the possibility of megan coming out and saying that i'm pregnant or the possibility of even divorcing harry we talked about so many possibilities but this one was coming in such a way nobody actually really knew what was going on so what happened is the way harry wanted to steal the show is by wearing something from dior the brand and he asked dior can you guys tweet about this he knew people will be talking about this his fan base especially you know the sussex squad they call it and voila that's exactly what happened it came on the media it came on the internet everybody a lot of people they're now talking about this brand the suit he was wearing three pieces instead of talking about the coronation itself it's the, there's the sound bite right he's there. under megan's spell when is that spell broken will it be broken kinsey well that's a pretty tough question but i did want to say in regards to the balcony, Paul and I were just looking at the internet and Dior sent a tweet saying that they actually provided the custom suit that Harry wore to the coronation. So Harry was literally, he just showed up to merch. You know, um, I think that there have been rumors over the last few months that Harry was going to become a spokesperson for Dior. Yeah. You're, you're telling me that his tailors, the tailors of his suit, advertised the fact that he was wearing a Dior suit today. Made just at, for him, just the for the coronation. coronation. Not Tumble and Asa, not New and Lingwood, not Hawes and Curtis. Mm. Yeah. Not he is an ambassador for Dior now. You know, making money is what really comes to his mind. It is not about his country. And also we talked about his love for the veterans, right? He shows up, he does this Invictus and this and that. I mean, he was there with his military 
supposed to be with wearing military uniform but that did not happen this guy who is so careful and he is showing so much care for the military all of a sudden he ditched military uniform to wear a brand a designer clothes so that he can make money don't you see the hypocrisy here german street Row, yeah not marks and spencers <laughs> Right. So certainly not. Uh, that. John or Lewis. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently wearing the Kin range. I think you'll agree it doesn't Love fit it. me. <laughs> but so it's, you know, I'm glad he wasn't on the balcony because it seems like he just popped in and showed up because he needed a, hash, a hashtag sponsored moment. Um, he, you know, he needed to justify a check he has potentially already cashed from Dior. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Well, of course, he's going to be making millions of dollars, pounds, whatever you call them, because of this free advertisement. He took full advantage of this his historical event that was watched by millions and billions of people throughout the world to promote his own brand Dior. The Duke of Sussex eschewed British fashion brands to wear a suit by French label Dior to his father's coronation fueling speculation he might be or he may be about to sign an endorsement deal with the company I think that already happened Harry was photographed in a suit with waistcoat for the ceremony at which he sat in the third row. Harry who left swiftly after the coronation to catch a flight from Heathrow or his dark morning suit and tie with his Afghanistan and Jubilee medals pinned to his suit jacket. He also wore a royal Victorian order star and neck decoration. So guys you have your model here right here doing advertisement for his brand a new model in the town fashion model i should say luxury fashion house dior tweeted that it had dressed the duke in a costume designed by celebrity favorite british born kim jones saying to do so was an honor quote unquote what about this idea that one day and of course it's, it comes with authority in terms of paul paul knows harry well that that harry wakes up one day and thinks what have i done that that all of this, the, you know, the, the huge price he's paid becomes apparent. Uh, you know, you, you have a lot of sleepless nights in Los Angeles, California, because you are only as relevant as your last headline, your last photo, mm -hmm. paparazzi picture taken, mm -hmm. your last mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to be comfortable. He's never going to be comfortable in Hollywood because it, you're always having to look forward. Is it what is it's if it's not Dior today, what is it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Is it the uh, Duke of Sussex cologne? Is I, It, I it is know. shocking that yeah. he wasn't wearing English tailoring today. This also goes against his complaint, we never got privacy. I mean, you're wearing a brand cloth, international brand. Everybody knows about Dior, a lot of people actually. And then at the same time, you're saying, oh, we want privacy. Please do not look at me. Well, we are going to look at you, especially after that Dior tweeted about your dress. People are going to look at your dress and how nice or how bad it was. For your supporter, it is going to be absolutely awesome. But for us, the dress did not really make any statement. The point here is that you wanted privacy and now you're wearing a designer, international designer clothes and asking for privacy or are you asking for something else? But at the end of the day, it is all about money, name, fame and attention. As I said in the beginning, he wanted to ruin the coronation. Both Meghan and Harry, they planned it together. Do not think it was just his plan. It was planned together, well pre-planned by his wife too, in order to make a statement, in order to let the whole world know that yes, we are here with Dior costume, look at us, don't just think about the coronation. Reached out, not just to Prince Harry, I might point out, but to Catherine and William also, to wish them all the very best on this big and special day. But more importantly, reaching out to Prince Harry to offer him the opportunity to attend that private luncheon. Now, it's interesting, isn't it? Because, you know, lots of people would say, well, why would he do this? You know, given the fact that Harry has clearly been very distasteful in his comments, not just about Charles's parenting, but about the whole family. Well, the bottom line is, and this is a good significance, really, moving forward for the king. It's all about forgiveness, you know, trying to see the good in people moving forward, that sort of thing. Now, while other senior members of the British monarchy really are finding it very hard to move on from what exactly Prince Harry said. If he could, he would have asked Harry to show up at the balcony. Thank God that did not happen. If he got the chance to go to the balcony, Harry would have actually be flaunting all of the rules, norms of the British 
royal monarchy and promote his own brand his own agenda a lot of people are saying thank god that did not happen we do not want to see this kind of leniency and this kind of forgiveness from the king where he is actually benefiting harry and in the process he is promoting his brand thank you for joining and i'll see you in the next one